Welcome parents, students, and staff from wherever you may be. We are so excited to be able to celebrate our 2021 Foundations Academy December graduation with all of you. As much as we do miss our in-person graduation ceremonies, and we do, we must take the health and safety of all of our students, families, and staff into consideration during this pandemic. But please, don't let a virtual ceremony stop you from being loud and proud and cheering on our graduates. This is one of the highlights of my year every single year. I am so proud of the accomplishments of our graduates. Completing school is no easy task. It is a remarkable accomplishment. Each graduate's journey is unique to them. Their challenges and successes are theirs to own, cherish, and learn from. Even though everyone has their own unique experience in school, graduation is an event in people's lives that everyone understands and can appreciate. It is not obscure or trivial. It is the event that celebrates the achievements of a young woman or man. It acknowledges the hard work of a scholar and the support network that helped guide that individual along their path. This network is not only your friends and peers, it consists of a team of educators as well that have dedicated their lives to supporting students and giving them the opportunities that they want in life. There are wonderful paraeducators, outstanding teachers, bus drivers, caring food service workers, secretaries, principals, maybe a speech therapist, school nurse, school psychologist, the list goes on. But what I promise you is that all of them take pride in helping you reach your graduation. And above their own joy is how proud they are of each of you for your perseverance and grit that it took to make it here. I see you out there with that, what about us look on your face? Yes, I'm looking at you, mom, dad, grandparents, families, relatives. We know school is not a solo journey. So to each of you who help support, encourage, and provide the opportunity for growth for our graduates, I give you my sincere thank you. I appreciate your role in this major accomplishment. I also wanna say thank you for choosing to be part of our SCOE team. It is our honor and pleasure to work with your children and to be a part of this celebration. I have been waiting all year to say this, graduates of the SCOE's Foundation Academy Class of 2021, you may now hear from our next speaker, Superintendent Dave Gordon. Congratulations, graduates. Hello, everyone. It's an honor to be with you, even if it is virtually. We wish we could share the joy with you in person because this is such a wonderful recognition of success and a tribute to incredible accomplishment. Parents and families, thank you for allowing us to care for your children through our SCOE Foundations Academy program. This is a program that cares for students from infancy to adulthood, so it's tough for our staff to bid farewell to our students. While all our students have had their routines interrupted, your children have been perhaps most affected by the COVID-19 disruption. The structured routine that's so important for you has just not been there. Just like our teachers and staff, you've also had to be creative and innovative. You've struggled through a difficult process to find what works and what doesn't to encourage and engage your children. We know it's been difficult to balance supporting your child while also balancing home and work life. It is requiring an extra dose of resilience. Families, you are nothing short of amazing. No one can take care of a person's need like families. You've supported your children through every obstacle life has thrown at them thus far. You've celebrated their progress and triumphs and have helped us prepare them for what lies ahead. This celebration is also a tribute to all of our teachers and staff who possess that one essential characteristic that cannot be taught. It comes from the heart and not the textbook. It is a genuine passion to help students who need that extra support and attention to assist them through school and prepare them for the future. 
and to team up with families in that work every step of the way. Thank you, teachers, paraeducators, school staff, bus drivers, all of you, for what you have done and continue to do for our students. We can never, ever thank you enough. And families, I want to remind you of this. Please don't forget about your own self-care, someone to lean on. Please make sure you have the community, peer, and professional support you need to work through your daily challenges. This virtual ceremony is a crucial step for each of these students in achieving their goals. Through their hard work, determination, and grit, these students have achieved their goal of completing school and can move on to their next steps of achieving their long-term goals. Thank you for making this journey with us and with our teachers and staff. And thank you for letting us be a part of your celebration today. Hello, my name is Randy Olson. I'm an area principal with the Sacramento County Office of Education for our foundation program. I'm here to introduce Marisol, who has been a student within the Sacramento County Office of Education since 2000, when she enrolled in the SCOE infant program. By 2003, she had enrolled at the SCOE Preschool Head Start program and continued in SCOE programs throughout the years from Prairie Elementary, Smedberg, Sheldon High School, and George Washington Carver High School. Most recently, she was enrolled in the SCOE Young Adult Transition Program at CSUS. Over the years, Marisol has brought a smile to the faces of all those around her. She always enjoyed a great story and spending time hanging out and laughing with peers, peer tutors, friends, and classroom staff. Marisol also enjoyed getting out into the community and exploring and learning new things while on community-based instruction. Marisol was always happy to come to school, as was demonstrated by the smile on her face. Her sweet nature, caring smile, and sense of humor always made each day brighter from the moment she got off the bus. This past year, she has been making the best of the circumstances and enjoying all the extra time she gets to spend with her mom, dad, and older brother. Marisol has not decided what she will do after graduation, but she is beginning to explore day programs, opportunities for when she is ready to return in person. Marisol's charm, laughter, and smile will be missed at the CSUS Young Adult Transition Program. She has left a wonderful impression on each of her classes over the years. On behalf of the team at CSUS and all of Marisol's educational team over the years, we would like to wish her the best of luck in all of her future endeavors, and we hope that she finds an adult program that is a perfect fit for her so that she can continue to learn new things and share her friendship. It has been a privilege to know and work with Marisol over the years. Congratulations, Marisol. Quinn Huen has been with the Sacramento County Office of Education for 10 years. She has been attending the SCOE Young Adult Transition Program at Jesse Baker since the year 2018. Quinn is energetic and organized. She loves to help others when she can. Quinn is a great friend and family member. She's very social and enjoys spending time with family and friends. At school, Quinn likes to organize the kitchen in the cafeteria as well as in the classroom. She helps straighten the counters and zip backpacks for her friends. In her spare time, Quinn likes to take walks to the park and help her mom clean. She's very affectionate with her mom. One would say she is her best friend. Quinn is looking forward to relaxing at home with mom until she can start her new program. Quinn is excited to begin new experiences and new adventures with her new friends that she will make there. Quinn has great plans for her future. She plans to help other people and explore new parks to walk to. She aspires to help her mom the most. The Jesse Baker Young Adult Program wishes Quinn and her family a bright future and success in every endeavor. Congratulations, Quinn. All right out there, we've heard about our graduates, we've seen one picture, but now we have the pleasure of taking a little bit deeper look into each of their lives. <laughs> 